9-11. That's the great we get. We knew about 9-11, we decided to leak it on an animated show on Fox. We couldn't, we couldn't be quiet, we knew it was coming. <laughs> back to the early Simpsons, something we haven't done in a long time, but we we had a, a character, a, we had these movies called Big Bang. People know these Big Bang. They were parodies of Arnold Schwarzenegger 80s action movies, and I, I wrote almost all of them. We would write a scene from a Big Bang movie, and they were just random scenes. And then one day, it's on YouTube, someone cut together all the Big Bang scenes and shuffled the order, and it made a whole movie. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And it, I wrote this shit. Maybe not. There was nothing like that in mind. It makes me think of, this may be too grandiose, but I was thinking, oh, this is like intelligent design. People go, how, you know, how could I evolve? Where did frogs come from? God didn't make them. No, just random stuff happens. You put them together, and it sort of works and makes something. So, no, we. There is no overarching theory to the Simpsons. In fact, there's a, a website of academic papers about the Simpsons, hundreds of academic papers. And I go, I went online, I said, I'm gonna read these, I'll read every paper until I hit a point where they make a mistake. Well, it was always the first paragraph, the second paragraph, because every, every scholar who gets their hands on the Simpsons thinks we have a grand design, we have it something we're trying to say with the show. And we're not. It's, I think I, this metal image I think of every week is just a giant hole. Every week we're shuffling jokes into it, and that's all we're trying to do. Oh, and I've written on 24 animated films. I'll tell you what a real funny story. But it's 24 animated films, so it's five Ice Age movies. It's uh, Despicable Me, One and Two, and the Minions, and Rio and Rango and Robots, and a bunch of other things. If you if you write for a living, you can't get writer's block. You know, a, a, a dentist doesn't say, "Oh, I can't fill your teeth today. I have dentist block." Or a plumber, "I can't fix your toilet. I have plumber's block." You know, it doesn't exist. An accountant doesn't say, "I can't do your taxes. I have H and R block." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an awful lot. The, the very first joke in the history of the Simpsons, the first joke in the first episode. Homer loses a game of Scrabble and gets mad and throws the game in the fire. And I saw that happen. That happened. That was my friend's dad who looked like a fatter Homer Simpson. He did that when I was a kid. I, I know you mentioned at one point that like when you got the offer to write for The Simpsons, you were still a bit iffy about it, like a little on the fence. I want to know, is there is there some job that you got an offer for that some part of you said, I really shouldn't do this, and it was just like the biggest bullet that you ever dodged. Uh, 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 oh, so I don't turn down anything. Right around 1998, a friend of mine said, will you come help me on my TV show? Help me, I need it, it's a new show, help me get it off the ground. And it was, it was a show called Homeboys in Outer Space. <laughs> and this show is now considered the show of the 1990s. It was, it was a comedy about a couple of African Americans in a, in a beat up spaceship going around space collecting junk. And when I'm working on this show, and even though the show was awful, there were really talented writers. This was their first job. And so they all got hired. Two of those guys went on and created Family Guy. Another two of them went on and created American Dad. The fifth one came. He's been at The Simpsons for five years. So and that's off the worst show of the 1990s. So you never know what the good move is. So just grab at everything. Don't turn anything down. We have 28 times the holding medal. I wanted to start the movie with some, a part that would make you laugh and try to end the movie with a part that would make you cry. 